Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the bed. Gators, I'm Jason, and this is KGTR. Our Gator football team is heading into this season strong. Our freshman team won with a score of 14 to 8 on Thursday last week, and our JV and varsity teams dominated in our jamboree against Green Oaks with scores of 17 to nothing and 30 to nothing. Let's go to Katie for more on. Hey Gators, as most of you are well aware, our Gator football season kicked off last week at Friday Night's Jamboree. Let's go Gators! Let's go Gators! Everyone is excited for football season, including the students who gathered at Northwood to cheer on their Gators last Friday night. The student section was alive and eager for the return of football season. The Gators battled hard against Green Oaks Giants Friday night at Northwood Stadium. The Giants kept the Gators in a scoreless game until Ashton LaCaz and Lucas Grubb broke through the Green Oaks defense. Ashton LaCaz blocked a punt and then ran it back for a touchdown. And then Lucas Grubb threw a touchdown to Cameron Davis to end the game. Coach Sepulveda also shares his thoughts on Hardy Hall's impressive first field goal. He had a 41 yarder and actually had a lot more distance, could have gone further. I was just trying to focus during the, during the play. And, uh, just trying to concentrate on hitting the ball right, trying to get as good as possible. The Gators would go on to take the victory with a score of 17 to zero, while the Gator JV football team also took home a victory with a score of 30 to zero. The Gators prepare to take on the Pineville Rebels tonight in their first regular season game tonight at Pineville. Uh, we're preparing for them just like anyone else. I mean, we're, we're coming out, we've broken down the film, we've got their you know tendencies just to get our kids to know what's coming, uh, get their fits right, and then play 90 miles an hour. Fingers crossed for a big Gator win tonight. I'm Katie for KGTR. Can I get an amen? Wait. What was I talking about? It, it wasn't TPT or any of the sports teams. Oh yeah, I was talking about how I've heard of FCA, but I don't know much about them. Let's go to Kayla for more on them. Hey Gators, I'm Kayla. I recently met with recruiters and leaders of FCA the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, a student-run organization sponsored by Coach Martinez and Mr. Chandler. FCA is a service-based organization devoted to present coaches and athletes and all whom they influence the challenges and adventure of receiving Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, serving Him in their relationships and in the fellowship of the church. They focus on serving local communities by equipping, empowering, and encouraging people to make a difference for Christ, but SCA isn't just for athletes. Anyone who wants to make a Christian friend, grow in their walk with God, and worship God can participate. Meetings are on game days after school from 3.50 to 4.15. Meetings are an opportunity for members to worship God, have fun, and hear from motivational speakers about Christian services. FCA introduced Daniel Jordan as their first guest speaker. We want to get more sports teams involved, and we'd like to host a meeting for your group. And if you want your sport to have FCA meeting before your game, go talk to Coach Martinez about it, and we'll get it done. FCA has some exciting plans for the future. President Carmen Jones and FCA recruiters will host community events to build fellowship. It'll be called Sunday Fun Day. It's going to be a, on a Sunday, actually. <laughs> and it's going to be at the church, and basically you come out. We're going to be on the practice, one of the practice fields, and chill out, worship God, have fun. The next FCA meeting is today at 3.50 at the Pavilion. We hope to see you there. I'm Kayla for KGTR. Back to you, Jason.
So recently, I made myself a Twitter. And I have to say, I've been seeing some mean tweets about the teachers here at Captain Shreve. Now guys, some of these tweets have just been <laughs> hilarious. But I'm sure the teachers can't be responding to them too well, though. At Coach Sharp, every morning I look at your head to see if I can see my future. I can. Mark Penn, your future is not very bright. Mr. Dubois, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Oh, you have to do that. Happy. Miss Barclay, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders called. Psych. Thanks, Jason. practicing my quan for the tryouts. Mr. McInnes, are you dead after that b-ball game or are you resting? Oh girl, you know you got taken to the court. Okay, Miss Langdon, the next slide to your PowerPoint will come no matter how hard you punch the space bar. Thank you, John P. Harris. Mrs. Simon looks like Fleeky off Lilo and Stitch. I don't even know who Pleaky is on Lilo and Stitch. Who's Pleaky? What does Pleaky look like? All right, Mr. Martin, you look like a factory boy. Reject. Which, okay. All right, cool. Miss Hooper, you run like you were cast in Jurassic Park. Like I'm a dinosaur? I bet I know what exercises is your favorite. It is the mix between the lunge and the crunch. It's called the lunch at the movie. Mr. McInnes, your beard is full of kids' sorrows. That's what helps me sleep at night. Everybody Tonight, our Gator football team will be battling the Pineville Rebels at Pineville. Well, that's our show. I'm Jason, and thanks for watching KGTR. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paperboy, the evening TV.